Before we jump into this one, I just want to let you all know today's Madden 22 video on the top two playbooks, both on offense and defense, is sponsored by EA in the EA Game Changers program. Let's jump into it. What's good, everybody? And we're back. And today, we're going to be breaking down the top two playbooks on offense and on defense. Well, my opinionated best playbooks on both sides of the ball. What we're going to do is we're just going to, I'm just going to name the playbook that I think is the best and second best. And then we're going to jump into the playbook. I'll scroll through. I'll talk about different formations that I like, different plays within those formations that I like. And then on offense, I'll actually break down one play for each of the two playbooks. Now on defense, I won't break down any plays, but I'll talk about different coverages that I like, different play calls that I like, and just things of that nature. Let's jump over to practice mode and we'll start breaking down each of the playbooks. So starting off here, we have our number two offensive playbook, which is the Seattle Seahawks offense. Now, of course, this is opinionated. It's just what I feel at the very beginning of the year is the number two offensive playbook. This is very much so subject to change because it's early in the year and new stuff is found all the time. But right now, we have the Seattle Seahawks at number two. I'm just going to scroll through the offensive formations here. I'm not going to click into every one. I'll click into some, but if you're intrigued by them, definitely just feel free to jump into practice mode, see what the formations have, see if there's anything in there that intrigues you. Single back bunch is always something that has solid plays, I feel like. They have solid runs mixed in with solid passes that you can mix in, so definitely something that's worth a look. Also, we have bunch tight end here, which is actually the formation that our uh, play that I'm going to go over is from, which is going to be the play cross drag. Uh, but definitely something that you can mix in as well. You can audible from uh, uh, single back bunch and single back bunch tight end to each other, as well as the gun bunch and the gun bunch tight end, which I'll talk about once we scroll through those. But definitely something, definitely, definitely a very solid uh, playbook all around. You have single back stuff, you have shotgun stuff, you've got some I form stuff here, uh, wing and H slot, uh, H wing and H slot open, strong H Y off. Pistol strong slot open, uh, pistol ace, gun ace offset, which is something that you can definitely, I, last year I audibled into this from gun bunch when I would sub a tight end in at wide receiver so that you can match this personnel. Uh, definitely something that has really good runs. I mean, you have, I'm saying definitely a lot, huh? Let me fall back with the definitely. I I could already, I could already hear it in my head that I've said it many times. Let me fall back on that. But read option, inside zone, uh, counter, uh, zero one trap very solid run plays so wanted to jump into that we have the uh gun bunch which is another solid passing formation pretty much every year and this is one of the better gun bunch in the like gun bunches in the entire game i feel like they have clear out se out which is not in a ton of playbooks they have a uh, tight end hook which is another solid play that's not in uh every single gun bunch wide receiver curl blood verticals which i'm pretty sure every gun bunch has verticals but mesh post a read option I, I really liked the read option last year in this gun bunch and then reverse fake reverse end around definitely some cool stuff from that uh gun bunch i said it again i'm with you i'm with you but gun bunch tight end another great formation great passing formation from last year can be very solid again i'd imagine x spot pa boot over the inside zone from this is usually pretty solid stick um curl flat corner inside switch all very good passing plays scrolling through the rest here probably won't jump into any other format oh gun trade by flex is cool as well uh read option you've got dagger which is a usually a, a pretty solid passing play uh levels wide corner usually just a really nice quick pass you can go to but yeah i mean seattle seattle's playbook is really good you got some empties here if you they probably have some like gun draws that you can go to if you have a fast quarterback uh not in this one let's see if they have any gun draws i'm curious because if uh they have russell wilson so they have a well in regs they have russell wilson so they have a fast quarterback they do have a qb draw on the empty bunch which is probably pretty good so and then they have goal line but yeah so seattle seahawks that's the one we have number two now let's jump into our play for the seattle seahawks which is going to be the single back bunch tight end cross drag so here's the setup for cross drag now i'm going to give two options on this play the first one's really just blocking the running back and then we're going to motion snap this in route to the left to the outside and a lot of the time you're going to be able to throw this crosser or you're going to be able to throw this in route but i'll go through a few of the reads here i won't go through every single different defensive coverage against it but because that would get that'll make the video really long but i wanted to show at least a couple of them so we'll start with the uh we'll start with the crosser you just motion out and then the crosser gets open now, I wanted to note here, 
I'm not using a team with Gunslinger on purpose to show, just to show that you don't need Gunslinger. And then I'm also, I, I wanted to know that you would probably want your best deep route runner on this crosser. So that's Robert Woods for the Rams. So if you have your best deep route runner, they're going to probably run this crosser the best. And then you're going to have the best chances. So that was non-press cover three. Now we'll press the cover three. And if you, this is optional. If you want to double team and end on the play, you can just because ideally you might want to be able to step to the right. It'll make the throw a little bit easier. But if you don't have to, if you can't, you don't have to. Right here, you want to throw this right to the outside. Now, this is no gunslinger. So these passes are going to be easier with gunslinger or set feet lead, uh, either or. So that's cover three. So that was the crosser. Now we'll talk about the drags and the in route. We'll start with the drags. So if they don't shade at all, you should be able to throw either drag. No problem, especially the tight end drag, though. So you want to motion this out like before, right, right before they set. And this is without any shading. You want to hit them as soon, hit the tight end as soon as they pass that hook curl. And before they get to that flat zone, you can turn up the field for 10 to 12 yards. That was with no shading. Now we'll do shade down, shade up for them to put cloud flats in the field. It'll be probably a little bit less yards, a little bit less of a window, but definitely still a window there for you to throw this tight end. So right there as they pass the hook curl. And if you're able to turn up the field, you can get seven to 10 to even maybe 15 yards. So that's the tight end. Now let's look at B, which would be circle on PlayStation. We'll do no shading first. And actually on this side, no shading is going to actually leave it a little bit more covered. As you see that hook curl, that curl flat, excuse, excuse me, is kind of there. So this one's actually more open when they shade down, shade up. So it's actually the opposite of how the tight end is. But you want to pass it either way, right as they pass this hook curl. So right as they're passing right there, you're pressing B pretty much. Yeah, you're pressing B is pretty much as they pass that yellow zone. So let's just go into the replay. And you can see I we start throwing the ball right as they're about to get past them. So you see the windups right about there, right as they're getting past. So that's about the timing. And when it's a cloud flat like that, you don't have to worry as much about them making a play on the ball and you can turn it up field. So that's the drag. Now let's talk about the in route here. So the in route is really a main read if they take away this hook curl, whether they put like a mid read like this, or if this is who they're using and maybe they lurk low on one of the drags. But if they leave the hook curl like this, right, and they shade down to take away those drags, so the read is the in route, it can be open from time to time, but it was very, very inconsistent. So it's not something I really want to play with. If there's, a, if there's a hook curl there, I'm probably just not throwing it. So like right here, I'm actually going to be able to Yeah, I threw that too early anyways. I'm trying to throw it with the exact window. The window is so tight if they have a hook curl there, so it's tough to pull off. I'll, I'll try it one more time. But if it doesn't work, then I'll just I'll move to showing it without the hook curl there. Because again, I'm not... Not really recommending making this read necessarily right there and yeah i mean they swatted it down anyways i'll try one more time to get it because i i have completed that pass with this exact coverage shaded down but it's just it's not consistent so i'm going to show you without the hook curl which is what you're looking for on this read try one more time that's there's the animation so you can catch it right maybe if they click on they make a play on it but here's what you're really looking for right two things one Maybe they want to use the drag. So let's just let's just man up B like they're using the drag, right? So if they do that and let's shade down because the curl flat's going to take away the, the in route if we don't do that and we'll have to throw the drag. So we're shaded down. They man up. They use her that uh, that drag. This in route can be a huge game for you up the field. If they take away that hook curl, you have a great chance to get a big gain that way. The other thing, maybe maybe they're using here and maybe they're lurking low on this drag. And maybe they put a mid read like so that maybe this is something like this that they did right maybe this is their coverage now so if they do that you motion this in route uh, out and you should be able to fit this in route in again for a decent gain now the mid read is going to be there to tackle you so you're not going to get a huge rack like you did before uh but the rack the rack catch isn't as big a deal as just making sure you're getting the catch right getting those 15 yards so that's the in route again i don't want to break down too many uh too many uh things from this i just wanted to kind of go over a, a cool setup now i'll go through option two quickly here and i just i showed cover two but the crosser is going to get open against cover two let me just show you the crosser against cover two also before we go to the new setup but you can throw either drag here i actually got shedded so if you get shedded throw the drag but you can see the crosser was open i, I don't want to waste any more time i'm just gonna go into the replay and show you the read i should have made again you can double team this outside player if you have the time and you don't think they're going to blitz for you to get the, the extra movement to the outside but you can throw the drag against the cloud flat and then the the crosser is actually probably a touchdown 
against cover two. So huge play. I'll actually, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll move on to the next setup of it. We'll stay in the cover two just so I can throw the crosser. But here's the other setup. So it's going to be B on a hitch and then A on a delay fade. So your tight end is on a delay fade. Just like this, you're still going to motion the in route out. But it's pretty much the same read as far as the crosser goes. So I'll actually double team this outside player first here, especially because of the delay fades there. You want to get some nice blocking. So if they're in cover two, you should be able to throw this crosser. Again, this is without Gunslinger. You're still able to fit that pass in. So if you have Gunslinger, it's going to be even easier for you. Uh, but there, you can see there that it got opening as cover two. So we'll stay in the cover three now. So if they have a cover three and they shade down like this, you should have the crosser. And then you should also have either your hitch or your in route, right? So since they're shaded down, they're playing down on the hitch. Now you can throw that in route over the, the hook curl. If they shade down and they're playing down like that, you should be able to throw that. Now, if they shade down, shade up with the cloud flat, it's going to be a little bit tighter to throw the in route. So you might throw the hitch. So let's motion out again. You see them drop back because they're shaded up. You can throw the hitch now. So that's why you kind of just are reading how the hook curls uh, play. And now let's just go back to shade down and you can see that you can throw this crosser. Pushing out. You should be able to throw the crosser on the outside. And then I'll show the delay fade. You should be able to throw that crosser. And we were going to probably get the toe tap right there, but the, the DB ends up making a play. I'll try one more time here. Motion out. And you should be able to throw this on the sideline. There you go. And so you see the timing there. I'm actually going to go to the replay to show that quickly. Uh, the timing as they're about to cross. It's kind of like that drag. You throw it as they're crossing the DB. So right here. Right there. Like you see them about to pass and the, and the DB is dropping back. You see the wind up right there. That's where you want to throw it at. So the DB has a tough time getting back to the sidelines. And the last thing I want to show here is the delay fade. So let's say that this is their user and their user in the crosser, right? So they're doing something like this. And this is their user. I'm just going to man it up to wide to be their user since I can't use her myself. If you see that they do that and there's no hook curl there in the middle of the field, you can press A to release that delay fade and then pass up the field. Now, it's not like a crazy gain right there. It's six, seven yards, but it's, it's a read, right? It's something that you can have there. And let's say they do something like this now. Like, let's say this is on the crosser and then this is on the delay fade, something like this, right? One of their one of those is the user and they're using the delay fade and the other one or they're using the crosser. Then you can just throw the hitch, right? So if they try to take away the delay fade, they try to take away the crosser, you can throw the hitch. So it's really either or um, and you can get a decent gain from it. I don't want to take too long on this. So let's jump over to our number one playbook. Now that's done with Seattle. Let's get to our number one. So for our number one offensive playbook in Madden 22 right now, we have the New England Patriots offense. And I really like this offense. There's a ton of different things that you can go to. And I'll just click through different formations again, like we did before. Single back a slot, HB dive is a solid run usually. Uh, PA scissors flood, that's a cool looking pass play. Again, I haven't, I haven't ran that pass play, but it looks good. Same thing with X slice you cross, never called that play, but looks solid. Stretch alert bubble. Uh, you have zone alert bubble. Single back ace slots giving me trouble in years past. You have a single back bunch ace, which has been good in years past. Inside zone. You have quick pitch, Z spot. Now, I've looked through this playbook because I had to do this video today. So there's a lot of different plays in this single back bunch ace. You have HB wham, uh, different end around looks. Single back tight Y off. Uh, I really like the different run plays in here, especially the HB dive. Uh, I like HB dives out of compressed sets, which this is. Uh, dry flood looks interesting. Bench switch. Um, you have different jet sweep looks out of that too. Single back double, single back Y trips, which has been good in years past. Stretch alert, looky, HB dive week, which you can probably playmaker with the right stick, like playmaker to the other side to make it a strong dive. Um, power alert, looky, wide receiver post. I used that pass play in years past, or at least showed it on YouTube, and it's a, usually a pretty solid play. Um, you have a draw there, a bubble screen. I form pro, I form Z close. I form slot, I form tight. You have strong pro and strong slot. Uh, you have stretch out of that strong slot. That's that's cool. You have dagger, which is a cool looking play with that deep in route. You have a toss out of this. Weak close. This has a fullback run from it, which I really, really like. I like fullback runs from things other than goal line because not everyone has that. And you, so you might not expect it. Like your opponent might not expect that. So that's cool. Pistol weak. 
and then uh you have uh i believe yeah you have some you have some, a power option and a speed option or excuse me a triple option and a power option out of here so if you have a fast quarterback that could be cool that could be tough to that could be tough to stop uh gun heavy patriot which is interesting you have qb power so if you have a fast quarterback qb power qb blast and uh yeah, the heavy patriot was tough was really tough to stop and uh, i believe it was madden 20. so it could be interesting if you'd like to mix in some qb runs a gun a slot offset uh pulse is a cool was a it's a really hard play to stop the past few years i've always had trouble with that power o pa bubble read option level uh level sale i know i'm clicking to know a lot of this one even more than i did seattle because i just really like this playbook there's a lot of good formations why off trips pads or u trips uh, is another way to, is another name for it hb power pass y out uh pa fork i really really liked back in like madden 17 uh patch drag wheel uh y option wheel a lot of a lot of good plays in you i mean u trips is just a super tight end whip there's a lot of passing plays in here five six trap a lot of cool plays in there trips tight end which is the formation i've ran a ton of uh and i'll just scroll through it i've used these plays a lot over the years and the new england uh one has a different plays than like the other trips tight ends at least for most of them like they have a quick base in there they have pass y post not every uh, trip site has that, which is cool. So they have a bunch. I'll just scroll through a bunch. Bunches are different across each playbook. This one's going to be very different than the Seattle one. But it has some cool plays in there, especially like pass curl flat was cool in the past. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't want to click into every single formation, but the Patriots playbook just has a lot of good ones. So very, very good. That's our number one. And actually, I didn't talk about, I didn't talk about the one. <laughs> Let me go back to Wingflex Week here. This is actually the one we're going to be breaking down the play from red zone hb scissors very cool play so this is another formation as well i i went through all these forms i'm not even going over the one that the play's from so this is the play let's jump into it so here's the setup you're going to put a streak on b which would be circle on playstation it's the outside tight end and a streak on x which would be square on playstation the main route on the play is going to be the crosser it's going to be y which would be triangle on playstation just like on the seattle play and you're going to want your best deep route runner here again which is going to be robert woods now for this play in order to throw it, you're going to need time in the pocket, or at least you're going to need time. You can roll out, but you're going to need time to throw this crosser. But the crosser got over 20 yard flats pretty easily in play now. 25, I was able to complete it once over that, but then there was also some knockouts, and then the 30 actually guarded it well. So this crosser is very solid, though, and we'll go through the other reads as well. We'll start with this. If you want to double team the outside on the way that the crosser is going to, you can do that as well to just give you an extra chance to either roll out of the pocket or move that way. And we didn't get our double team, but we can roll here. And you're able to throw this crosser pretty easily, right? We get our toe tap there. The deep blue gets pushed back by the streak. The flat zone that's on default right now doesn't follow it at all. And you're able to get a nice gain. So I'll, I'll double team again here. And you should be able to throw this pretty easily. Now, we got bumped right there, so we, we might not be able to throw it. We already get it on the run. But uh, the route got bumped, which I have not seen very often at all by the hook curl. I'll try to throw it one more time. But again, if you get the time, you can throw this route pretty well. And I mean, it's going to get wide open for you. See right there. Nice window, right? So you want to throw that before it gets over to the sideline. But once it gets past those hook curls, that's really the timing on it. Like as it gets past this second hook curl, like right there. So the first one kind of guards it early. And then as it's like right at the second one, you throw it here in this pocket. It's assuming that they don't have the deep flat. If they have a deep flat, you have to wait for a little longer to get past. But this is about your window where you throw it, right? So that's the crosser. I'll quickly show it against cover two, but it'll get over the cloud flat and cover two as well. Same setup. You see there, over the cloud flat. And I'm not sure if we toe tapped or not there, but it's open, right? I'll, I'll, throw, I'll throw it one more time against cover two though. Well, cover two. Just to make sure we can get the pass. I'm just gonna spy here. I already explained, you need time in the pocket. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to make this pass, which we've gotten pretty much every time. But I just want to make sure we get it. I don't want to waste your time. There you go. There's the crosser over top of the cloud flat. Now, if they drop their zones back, you might have trouble throwing that uh, against the cover two. But again, then you have other stuff likely underneath. So now we're back in the cover three. Let's play hard flat. And I'll, I'll press now just to show you different a different look. But the crosser would, should still be open against that. But now I'll still double team the right, but now you have this hard flat. And then basically what the running back route is, is a corner route. So if they play hard flats, you can throw that kind of like a, 
kind of like a corner about over top of the hard flat there with shaded down now if they don't shade down let's we'll just leave the stock one you can throw the in route the so same thing you can throw the in route right in that pocket right there try to get up the field that's like 10 12 yards right there now if they shade down shade up with cloud flats same read you should be able to throw that in route so right here you see that that's all dropping back you have that pocket for the in route now that time it was a little bit less of a window so i possession caught up but it's still six seven yards so, i mean that's the play i don't want to show too much i don't want it like to take too long uh but i'll just show you the crosser with the press that it can get over and i'll spy again just to just to make sure we get the time because again i don't want to waste your time you've seen that if you get the time this crosser does get open but even with press the streak pushes it back you have this window you're able to get the catch so that's the play uh from new england patriots and um i'll have i'll have the plays for both seattle and new england uh the setups written out for you in the description so you don't have to memorize them but the play is red zone hb scissors that's it for the top two offenses we had seattle at number two patriots at number one now let's jump over the defenses and for our number two defensive playbook in madden 22 right now we have the four six alternate playbook it has a lot of different things in it from four six you have four six bear four six bear under four six normal three four bear you have four four split you have nickel normal you have nickel three three five wide and this is the part that makes it number two for me nickel three three five wide combined with nickel three three five as far as i know it's the only playbook in all of man 22 that has both of these formations for you to audible back and forth with correction here the multiple defense actually has nickel 335 and nickel 335 wide also but they don't have the big nickel over g in the multiple defense which is why i have the four six ranked above that still even though they do get both of those nickel formations so you can sub in safeties at linebacker at nickel 335 and then audible into nickel 335 wide like a lot of people did including myself in man 21 so you can get safeties at those two outside linebacker spots you can have a lot of speed on the field that's what makes it number two for me it's very very good now what makes it not number one right even though it's so good that it has big nickel over g is that the only dime set it has is dime normal i would like dime one four six i still think that's a really solid passing defense now it's not going to do great for you against the run but it's a nice option to have against the pass which it does not have in it so you have dollar which is good and then prevent and goal line which and then special teams which everyone has but for goal line they have six two and five three um two different options i think most playbooks have that but i'm not 100 sure but yeah so that's the playbook i'm not going to take much time on the defensive ones like we did on the offensive ones what makes it great to me is the nickel 325 wide and nickel 325 combination now let's jump to our number one defensive playbook in all of madden 22 right now and for that number one defense we have the new york giants defensive playbook i love this playbook there's so many different formations in it you have three four odd three four bear three four cub four threes even six one now i don't use a lot of these formations but it definitely has a lot there for you big nickel over g which is what i mentioned is one of my favorite formations in the game right now nickel two four five nickel three three five odd two four five double a gap nickel three three five wide now they don't have the three three five normal to audible into the three three five wide to get those two safeties at the outside linebacker spots but definitely still viable without those without those safeties at outside linebacker you can still go to this to stop the run it can be solid it can even be solid against the pass as well so it's nice to have in the playbook even though you don't have that three three five normal dime two three six sam and dime one four six which is what i mentioned as the reason for four six not being ranked number one this time 146 is still a nice pass defense to go to it's not going to be great against the run but if you're in a passing situation it's nice to have so you have prevent you have goal line which i did confirm every playbook has six two and five three as as far as i could tell so then you got special teams so that's the defense that's your number one overall defense i actually almost forgot i did want to cover some play calls some coverages from these formations that i liked so from the big nickel over g i do like cover four quarters a lot because i like match this year and i like the ss blitz three with the different freedoms that it gives you with coveraging that safety you can take that blitzing safety and put them in a bunch of different zones or even man them up the different coverages you can do and then you can also blitz them so i like that i like the uh, cover two man because you just I, it's important to have a man coverage call that you can go to so big nickel over g is solid um i like uh 
from the nickel 3v5 wide now this is going back to the 4-6 playbook especially when you, if you audible into this from the nickel 3v5 to get those two safeties at linebacker you can do a lot of cool things coverage wise from here so you have the Mike Blitz 3, which was pretty popular last year. I used that a lot. Where you can coverage out those two blitzing linebackers however you want, but then you can also blitz five people. You have Cover 4 Show 2, which is another match look. So definitely something else. I, I keep saying definitely, but the, a lot of different things you can go from 3 through 5 wide. It's very versatile. And then you have Dime 1, 4, 6. Uh, you can blitz out of the Cover 3 Sky. You can blitz out of the Cover 2 Sync. You can, uh, you can also blitz from DB Sting if you wanted to db sting to buzz as well so a lot of different things from dime 146 as well and that's to say that i just want to go over a couple coverages and play calls that i like from the defenses and that is it for the video i know we didn't do a ton on the defenses we did a lot more for the offense for showing the plays but i hope you all enjoyed the video i hope it was helpful for you and if you did enjoy the video please remember to like comment subscribe only if you want to i love you all take it easy peace